the 4pm duo T.O.P. expressions. So let's find out what suitable and useful expressions we can use in various situations. So we're going to be going through some more expressions about the hospital. Let's start off with our first expression. Alright, 첫 번째 표현입니다. 금요일을 제외하면 예약 진료만 가능합니다. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, of course, 금요일 is Friday and 제외 is with the exception. Mm-hmm. Exception of. Uh, so, in total, you can say, with the exception of Fridays, only appointments, 예약, are available. With the exception of Fridays, only appointments are accepted. Mm-hmm. You can also say, Apart from Fridays. Yeah, with the exception of Fridays, apart from Fridays, 둘다 괜찮습니다. 그래서 금요일 제외하면. So that was our first expression. Let's move on to our second. 두 번째 표현입니다. 저희 병원에 내원하신 적이 있나요? 아니요, 초진입니다. Okay, so this is very, very useful. Right? Mm-hmm. No matter where you go, especially if it's your first time 처음이시면, uh, no matter where you go, you get asked this. You will get asked this. They'll ask for your details as well and whether you're familiar with the hospital. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, 내원하다 is to, of course, visit a hospital. Right. Or you can say, have you ever been to? Mm. 혹시 와, 오신 적 있으신가요? Right. Have you ever been to our hospital before? But then they said, 아니요. 초진입니다. 초진, of course, is the first time. Right. So you can simply say, no, it's my first time. No, it's my first time. Right. Have you ever been to our hospital before? No, it's my first time. Right. All right, then, let's move on to our third expression. 세 번째 표현입니다. 내과를 갔더니 소아과로 가려고 하더라고요. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, of course, we learned about 내과, which is uh, the internal medicine department. Yes, the internal medicine department. But you went to there, 그 내과를 갔더니, and then they said to go to the 소아과, mm. which is pediatrics. Pediatrics, right. And uh, so pediatrics is mainly dealing with children. Right. So basically, I went to internal medicine, 내과를 갔더니, but then was told to go to pediatrics. 소아과로 가라고 하더라고요. I went to internal medicine, but was told to go to pediatrics. All right, then let's move on to expression number four. 네 번째 표현입니다. 증상이 언제부터였나요? Oh, again, a really important phrase. Yes, so 증상, of course, is symptoms. Mm-hmm, symptoms, and 언제부터, when. So in total, you can say, when did your symptoms begin? When did your symptoms begin? Right. You can also say, when did your symptoms first appear? When did your symptoms first appear? That's also a really good way. All right, a very good one indeed. Now let's move on to our last expression. 다섯 번째 표현입니다. 소매를 올려주세요. 안경을 벗어주세요. But yeah, they will say, so 소매를 올려주세요. You can say, roll up your sleeves. Yes, can you roll up your sleeves, please? So roll is like 말다, so you can 말아주세요. You know, roll it up like you're rolling a pancake. Mm. 한국어로는 안경을 벗어주세요. 마스크를 빼주세요. 다 동사가 다르죠. Mm. 하지만 영어로는 다 똑같습니다. 비슷하죠. Right. Yeah. 안경이랑 마스크는 둘다 take off라고 합니다. Take off your glasses, take off your mask. Right. So someone may ask you, can you take off your glasses, please? Can you take off your mask, please? Mm. 라고 할수 있죠. 